Right, so let's go ask Lloyd's head of market strategy what he sees ahead for the common currency. Charles Diebel joins me now. Uh, Mr. Diebel, thank you very much for joining us. So if we look at what's been happening in the bond market, Spanish spreads, Portuguese spreads have been rising, widening. Is a bailout imminent for other Eurozone countries, Portugal among them? Um, no, I don't think so, not at this point in time. Um, I, I think you're right, though, to focus here um, on perhaps how the, the, the crisis is shifting in that uh, with Ireland um, in a slightly different situation to Greece, it was the banking sector that uh, has really taken them to the brink and uh, to request a bailout. And, and that's why the euro is getting a little bit spooked on forex markets at this point in time and why people are, are focusing particularly on Spain perhaps more now than Portugal because clearly the banking sector in Spain is relatively weak. So I think maybe going forward the, the, the solutions lie rather than necessarily in a sovereign bailout but more in uh, more of a ring fencing of the risks of the banking sector and some kind of uh, write-off program, something similar to that which we saw in Scandinavia in the 90s in fact. But if we look at what's been happening in the markets, I mean, how difficult would it be to ring fence that kind of risk given that a bailout deal hasn't even been sealed for Ireland and yet attention has already turned to Portugal and Spain. Does this mean that debt contagion is effectively unstoppable at this point? I certainly wouldn't say it's unstoppable, but it certainly highlights the risk that um, policymakers don't necessarily have as much time as they would like. Um, you would have perhaps expected maybe more of a, a honeymoon period after a bailout was announced by Ireland, but still we don't know the details, um, and thereby people uh, remain cautious as to exactly what you know the devil lies in the detail. Um, but I, I think from a broader point of view. It, the concept here is that markets don't have a great deal of confidence at this point in time that it won't snowball and thereby people are being cautious and you know maybe where previously they were overweight euros or neutral euros in a global portfolio they're starting to move to an underweight situation. So what do policymakers then need to do do you think to bring this under some control? Does there almost have to be some sort of simultaneous bailout package for Ireland and Portugal? Well, no, I, I mean, uh, I, I don't think we're at the stage right now that Portugal needs a bailout. Uh, it, it's clearly a matter of whether the markets um, uh, provide financing to Portugal in the next year when they come back to the market in January. Now, uh, at this point in time, uh, that looks questionable. But the reason it's questionable is that people don't have a great deal of confidence that policymakers have created a solution to the, the broader problem. An individual country bailout, fine, it will work. I, you know, the issues with respect to Ireland are largely uh, out of the way now because we, we do know that there is a support program coming. But it's the scale and the size of further potential issues that's worrying the market. And that's what's rattling confidence in the euro at this point. Yeah, I mean, how worried are investors about this spreading to larger EU countries, which could pose a much greater systemic risk. To what extent could Spain now be dragged into the mire? Well, and, and, and this is exactly the risk in that if, if it's a country the size of Ireland, it's manageable on an internal basis. But uh, if you start talking about Spain as the fourth largest European economy, then uh, if, if the markets uh, effectively shut to, to uh, the Spanish issuing authorities and that they can't raise self-financing, then that becomes a much more systemic problem. And I think those are the, these are the debates that people are having at this point in time. Um, ultimately, there's no reason that that should be the case. But uh, yeah, as I say, I think perhaps the focus of policymakers is to be a little bit more preemptive rather than reactive and perhaps to focus on where the real problem lies, certainly with respect to the likes of Spain uh, and to a degree Ireland which is on the banking sector as opposed to the sovereign risk. Charles Ebel, Senior Fixed Income Strategist at Lloyd's, thank you so much for joining us.